Hello, my beautiful bit of Let's try this again. Hello, my beautiful bit of roots, and welcome to my channel. And today I have a get ready. Re I can't talk. I have a get ready with me featuring my Stranger Pans items. So, this is a Stranger Things inspired look. And I have been really enjoying this eye look so much that I've been wearing it pretty much every single day because I love it that much. So I'm like, well, why don't I just share with you guys? And um, I'm not sure. I'm going to try to find the palette for you guys if it's still available. If not, I will list in the description box below or I'll pop in some, some things here and there of some color dupes for you guys. So if you don't have this palette, I want to try to give you some color dupes. So that way you can recreate this look the, um, the best you can. So, and I'll try to describe the colors as well on top of it, but I'm going to try to find the color dupes for you guys, not only in my own collection, but out there, I'm going to try to find several different brands if possible. And they'll all be listed in the description box below. So check that out if you want to recreate this eye look. So let's get started. I already did my skincare, I cleansed my face, I used my toner, my serum, my moisturizer, and that's where I stopped. So let's go on. My hair is a little on the crazy side. I put in some um, dry shampoo and it's making my head itch. It's Batiste. Batiste always makes my head itch. itch. <sighs> So I got to find a different thing. I am starting out with um, this Hanalei lip treatment. I have this on my lips as of right now. This is a really thick lip treatment. If your lips are dry, definitely use this. I have been enjoying this for every time I do my makeup and it's HanaleiCompany.com. I'll, I'll add this in the description box below. It's from Hawaii. So, and I am using my Cargo palette, my Cargo Cosmetics palette. I have four, no, three, three eyeshadows in this palette that are in my Stranger Pans project pan. Yes, three. But I'll be using five shades out of here. But this is the Vintage Escapes eye palette, which it just screams fall. Just everything about this screams fall, even the name scream fall. So like I said, I will find dupes for this palette if I can't find the palette for you guys. But I'm pretty sure that, I mean, everybody has these colors in their arsenal. So I know I can find dupes for you guys. So I'm going to start out with my Physician's Formula powder. Um, this is just a mineral wear talc free creamy natural powder. That's all I do to my face. I don't wear foundation. I don't wear concealer. This is all I do because if I wear anything more than my skincare and a translucent powder, I break out and nobody wants it. So, and for me, I break out really bad. So I don't, you don't like that. So I'm going to be looking behind the camera at the mirror. So my head itches. I don't like the itchiness. I need to brush this out of my hair because it is really bugging me. I don't use dry shampoo very often, but I decided I was going to because um, I have a date with one of my foreign exchange students. I'm going to take her out to the Christmas store in Missoula um, at Kara's nursery because uh, I want her to pick out a ornament for my tree that reminds me reminds her of her country she's from Italy so my tree is more of like a memory tree so every ornament has some attachment to it it has some memory to it so it's my little memory Christmas tree so all my students I have a little ornament to remind me of them so I'm going to have her pick out an ornament for my tree and then I'm going to pick out an ornament to give to her. That reminds, hopefully will remind her of Montana and her time here spending in the States. So hopefully she'll like it. So, but yeah. And then we're going to go to the mall. She said she wants to buy some earrings. She's so cute. She texts me. Um, 
I need to buy some earrings. Is that okay? <laughs> I said, yes, it's absolutely okay. Where would you like to go? <laughs> it's okay, girly. We're just to hang out because I'm her coordinator. So I hang out, make sure that she's okay. And we talk and just have fun. So that's what I like to do with my students. And so this is my time with her today. So I'm going to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer. I always get these little samples. So I'm always going through them like crazy. I prefer the Urban Decay ones better. So, and if I seem a little bouncy, it's because I'm on my balance ball. So sorry about that. When I film in my bedroom, I just roll over. I store my balance balls in my room. So instead of dragging a chair into my bedroom, I just bring over my balance ball. So I tend to get a little bouncy when I film in here, but I figured this had the best light because it's still pretty early in the morning and my north facing window doesn't have a whole lot of light coming through it. So I'm using my bigger south facing window to get more light going on here. Okay, so now we're gonna dip into the Vintage Escapes palette now the cargo and I'm going to dip into Harvest Moon which is this first one and it's just everybody has this nude type shade in your arsenal so I don't need to find anything like that to match so just find something that's close to your skin tone and just plop it all over your lids to set your primer this is a little bit lighter than my skin tone but I'm rapidly losing my tan so it's not so noticeable anymore <laughs> When I first started using this palette this fall, it was like a stark white contrast. And now I can see that it's blending into my skin a lot more. So I'm, like I said, rapidly losing my tan. Okay, so I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm going to go into Autumn, which is this kind of like a muted, nudey, pumpkin-y shade. I don't know how to describe it. I'll pop it up in the screen for actual color if this color isn't showing actual true to, to color. But it's just, it's a nude shade, but it's a little more orange, I want to say. I don't know. I'll find a dupe for it for you guys. But I'm going to throw this in the transition. Since I have hooded eyes, I always plop stuff like right here and then just put this right in the transition here. And just build it up. My kids are gonna stay home while I'm gone with Francesca and they're gonna clean the house. Today is Friday so it's chore day Normally I do chores with them, but since I'm going to be gone, I'm just going to have them do their chores and do them together, not have them do their set chores. They, both Lissa and Eli, work so well together. And when they decide to combine forces and do their chores together, they have a lot of fun. There's a lot of giggling and stuff gets done. And okay, sorry about that. Battery died. So, story of my life, like always. So, basically I just kept building up this shade until I got to this um, opacity that I like. Now I'm going to grab my other fluffy brush and I'm going to go into Hot Cocoa, which is just a nice chocolatey brown shade. And pretty much everybody has this hot cocoa shade in their arsenal so um, this one I'm gonna actually put into my crease to define my crease more since I don't since mine hides <laughs> so I'm gonna go into hot cocoa with my fluffy brush and I'm gonna go right deep into the crease and blend it And Katie made a post, a comment today about my eye look, and I just thought it was really sweet of you to make the comment about my eyes, because I'd already had plans to do this get ready with me 
And I was noticing while I was editing that my blue eyes really did pop. And I think it was the twigs shade on my lower lash line that really made that blue stand out a little more in the green, I think. Green always, I don't know what it is. When I wear green on my lids, it always makes my blue eyes like even more blue, crazy blue. And I don't have like majorly blue eyes. Um, my eyes change colors between green, teal, and blue depending on what I'm wearing. So if you ask my husband what color eyes I have, he says rainbow <laughs> because I have the gold and the green and the blues all in my eyes. The blue is just a little more prominent than the other colors, but when whatever I'm wearing, my eyes just change to that. So, all right, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna go back into my other fluffy brush and go back into autumn. Just do a little more blending. I'm gonna go back into Harvest Moon and just do a bit of cleanup because I always tend to get a little carried away. This one isn't in my Stranger Pans project pan, but this one is in my I Heart Christmas project pan. This is the Tristique Mini Eyeshadow Crayon in Venetian Gold. And I really, I've been using this one pretty much every single day. So I've been using a lot of this. Now I'm using green on the top of it. So you don't need, so you can use pretty much any base. Um, a good base would be the NYX and Cashmere or you could do the NYX and Milk. Uh, I've been really enjoying this gold underneath the, the green that I'll be putting over the top of it. Because it just really brings out the green and the yellows kind of in that green so it just makes it a really pretty fall shade so I'm gonna plop this shadow crayon on my lids and the product moves around on me quite a bit it'll come off in a chunk so I have to dab it on my eyes cuz it's just drying out but I want to get it used up before it totally goes bad on me so just do this all over my whole lid Yeah, this product is so soft. I don't know if you'd see that, but it's like moving off to the side of the um, container. So I have to be extra careful so it doesn't like come off in chunks because it's just a very soft shadow stick. I'm going to actually go in and use the brush that came in this set. This is, um, just a little shader brush and it's a little more on the stiff side so picking up this green shadow works really good just to pack on the color on your lid so I'm going into withered leaves and I don't know if you can see I've been working in that top corner and it's just a beautiful fall like olivey green shade and I've just been plopping this all over my lids And the green stays on my lids for a long time by using the Tristique in Venetian Gold underneath it. It just, it does so well with staying on my eyes. And then just go back into autumn and I'm just gonna blend it all together I'm gonna go back into hot cocoa just a bit just to darken that outer portion of my eye just a touch I'm gonna go into another Tristique item and this is in the color Aspen Pine and this is beautiful um, pine green shade and I've been loving this in the outer V
I'm going to go back into the one that I used the green shade on, do a little bit more withered leaves, and then just blend the two together just slightly. Not a whole lot. Just blend it. And then I'm going to um, flip it and then go into that, um, the rest of it, and just blend it all out in so that way it gets rid of any harsh lines and it blends that green in nicely and it sets that green shade. I'm going to go into Cuddle, which is this like little shimmery pink. And the reason why I know that it just seems a little weird because I have a lot of browns and greens and stuff, but with this autumn, this it really pulls into this autumn shade. So I'm going to put this under my brow so this just transitions to this really nicely which transitions to this really nicely which also transitions to the green real nicely so I have a method to my madness so I'm just gonna go into with my my brush that I used with the harvest moon and I'm gonna go right into cuddle and I'm just going to put this in my uh, on my brow just a little bit just to give a little bit of pop And then I'm going to use my liner brush on the other end of this cargo brush and I'm going to go into twigs and this is what I'm going to put on my lower lash line which is this grayish blue shade and I'm just going to smoke this in my lower lash line. And I always like to bring it up and just blend it into that up outer V just to make it more seamless. I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to go into crisp. Okay, and then I'm going to use my Kat Von D liquid liner. It's just a little sample size of the tattoo liner. And then this is actually drying up real quick, but I'm using the, the Bobbi Brown mascara for Millie Bobbi, Bobbi Brown, the actress who's playing the girl 11. And I'm not like the biggest fan of this, <laughs> but it'll, it'll do for now. I may just have to go and top it with another mascara just to get through the day. Okay, I'm gonna have to retire this one soon. It's just getting too much work to do my brows now, or my eyelashes. Now I'm gonna go into All May, um, their brow. I really like their brow products. This is in their lightest shade, I believe. Oh, dark blonde. Alright, and I stopped wearing bronzer and stuff like that, um, but I do like the Seraphine Botanicals, and this is in Happy Hibiscus, which is like the perfect fall blush shade, and um, actually, wait, I'm going to do my highlight first. So this is Watts Up, and the reason why I chose this is because the the lights, and obviously for the lights in... in uh, Stranger Things, the Christmas lights. So um, I've been using this a lot. 
and it hasn't been going down a single bit. Nothing. Just nothing. And then going back into Seraphine Botanicals and Happy Hibiscus. And I'm going to throw on this lip pens, lip liner. It's B Vein lip liner in the color um, Sienna. Nose itches, sorry. And I've been loving this as just a, a lip color on its own. And there we go. There is my Stranger Things inspired look. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I guess I didn't even describe, explain why I have these in my Stranger Things project pan. So the autumn is obviously because um, it's autumn there. The withered leaves, there's a lot of withered leaves in the forest. Twigs reminds me of Castle Byers, and then of course Bobby Brown mascara for Millie Bobby Brown, the actress who plays Eleven. What's up for the Christmas lights? You know, there's a theme going on here. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.